Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it once again. To all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother figure, happy Mother's Day to you too. Uh, just bless the Lord. He is a wonderful God. He is a gracious God. You know, um, we just got to continue just to give him thanks and to give him glory. Hallelujah. Uh, at this time, can we just please stand for a word of, of prayer this morning? Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God. Thank you for just being who you are, Heavenly Father. The Lord, as we go into this hour of worship, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you would just have your way, dear God. The Lord, just have your way in this house, Heavenly Father. Have your way in our hearts, right? Have your way in our minds, Heavenly Father. The Lord, we pray for our bishop, Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray for this house, oh God. See the growth in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, Lord. Use us for your glory, dear God. Do Lord, let us be a beacon on this corner to draw someone here that say, I would love to be saved and I'll be part of this ministry, Heavenly Father. Do Lord, we pray as we just worship your name, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you would just come in and manifest yourself here at this house, Heavenly Father. Lord, all of this in your name. The house we say, Amen. 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 At this time, uh, we'll turn it over to the praise and worship team and we'll just let have God have his way. Amen.
before my life. Yeah. I'm telling my body right now, Father. Touch me. Touch, touch, touch. Give me, Father, wrong what I've done. And I'm trying to correct it by doing right. Amen. Forgive me for all those who I've hurt and all those who have hurt. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> hurt me. I'm crying out for you, Father. Yes, yes. Touch me. Lead me in the right direction. Yes, yes. Keep me from going from what I used to be to what I want to be right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, bless us. Yes, sir. All those who are seeking your help, Father God, help us. Yes, yes Lord. All those who are hungry for your words, help yes, us, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Father God, bless our bishop. Yes, yes. yes. He's the true man of God. Yes. I lost sight from him, but I found him again. I'm never going to leave this sight. Father God, I want to be a man of God. Yes. There you go, Dean. I want you to give me kind words to say. Yes. When there used to be hard words in my mouth. Come on. Come on. Father yes, God, just touch me. Yes, God. You know, you keep me going strong. Yes, God. You hear them shedding my father. Yes, sir. Because I've gone up and you from my heart. Yes. I need you. Alright. Yes, Lord. Bless you. Father, keep your head to focus. Hmm? Sister 
Mr. R. Mirror, Brian, Jerry, Chantel, Andrew, Deacon and Sister Gordon, Bishop and First Lady Wallace, Sister Katie, Reverend Singleton, Sister Angie, and anyone that I don't have your name, please forgive me because if I don't know, I can't put you on the list. My point for today, I was not going to do a point today, but I will. It says don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, the road to a treasure seems all uphill. Yeah. When the bonds are low and debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to not. Well. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't quit. Mm. Right. Life is strange and it's twists and turn, as every one of us sometimes learn. And then the affairs come about where we might have won if we had struck it, stuck it out. Don't give up. The pace seems slow. Mm. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out. The seal of tent of the cloud of doubt. You can never tell just how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Let's pray to God for see the grow will never quit. And keep Amen. on doing God's will. Amen. 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 I have to tell y'all, today was my day to take a vacation. But the Lord said not yet. So I come today asking him for the strength that I need to keep carrying on. Amen. I've suffered here at Cedar Grove. I've worked hard. I did my best. And I know that I have a reward coming. Amen. But I just want to say to everybody, it has been a hard road. And the road hasn't got any easier. Yeah. But I know it when it's in God's hand, He's well, going to handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all I need to know that He's going to handle it. Yeah. Because I can't handle nothing. Come on. But He's been good to me. Yeah. He left me here for 85 years. Come on, come on. And He had me here every Sunday morning doing yeah. my job. Yeah. And I just want to thank Him this morning. Yeah. If I never
say amen. Amen. Come on, let us say amen again. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give God praise all today. So open your mouth. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I need you to shout. We shall rejoice. I'm trying to get you to shout. We shall rejoice. And be glad to be in this day. I greet you with Jesus' joy, for the joy of the Lord is our strength, just like no other. Listen, I have a special Mother's Day gift. Um, I want to make sure, y'all, let's thank God for, for Sister Nikki. Did I say it right? She's here every Sunday. Come on. Give her God praise. Come on. Give her God thank you. And I want to personally say thank you for always being here. And she helps Mother out every uh, time she come up on the stage and help her. Sometimes it's a little thing that we overlook. Come on, y'all. That needs to be intended. And thank God for it. Amen. 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 God is good. And he is good all the time. Now, now, Mama Wilson, I picked that out for you at a pop-up shop yesterday. Thank you. Amen. And Lord put on my heart to give that uh, to you, y'all. Good to have my little sister here today. Come on. My little sister is in the house. I got five sisters. I have no brothers. I have five of them and I love all of them and she's here with us uh, today. You know her hat. Somebody want to say amen. amen. And the Lord is good. And if you ever see Sister Mickey, she always have that on because biblically the women were to have their heads covered before they came into the house. Y'all yeah, don't hear what I'm saying. There was a reason for that. Amen. amen. And you had to have them heads covered because when, when the head was uncovered, yes. you say your way was uncovered, in the Corinthian church, it, it, it meant that they were available. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and if, there was a, if they was to take it off and then shave their head, it meant only when they got available, they were available now. Okay, come on. Y'all gonna catch that next week. <laughs> She's available now. Yes. Now we're really in church. We gonna will this church. Amen. Amen. Y'all smile a little bit. Amen. amen. Listen, we can really have a really good time. The Lord have a word amen. from God. But a happy Women's Day to everybody. Amen. Whether you are a mother biologically or a mother spiritually, we thank God for you. Amen. Amen. And we thank God our uh, praise team is going to come. And we thank them. Thank you, uh, Deacon Anderson. Thank you every, every um, Sunday. Uh, last Sunday, he outdid himself all day. Thank you, Sister and I appreciate you. She got her hair down. I know who she was today. She looks pretty. Amen. And we thank God for Sister Shannon as well. She's back there taking care of business. Uh, but we thank God for her. Come on, let's clap our hands for Sister Shannon. Come on, she's in the house. And we thank God for her on today. It is exactly 827. And we want to walk out of the door today exactly at 859. Right. Amen. So uh, we can go and do whatever we was going to do today. Amen. 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 Let's clap our hands. Come on, as we prepare.
Work how great is our God. Amen. Clap your hands real quick and give God praise. And today that we will stand and ready ourselves with the word of God for today. In the voice of the late Bishop Rollins, give me 15 minutes on the clock. Amen. Amen. Drummer. You know we brought to another church. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Proverbs 31, verse 19. Right. Proverbs 31, verse 19. Proverbs 31. Verse 19 reads, Who can find? A virtuous woman for her price is far above mm. rubies. Say it one more time. Who can find a virtuous woman? A virtuous woman. Not just a woman. Mm -mm. Text says a virtuous woman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For her price is far above rubies. Yes. I want to talk about real quickly, this is a man's world. Mm. Right. Mm. I want me to write that. This is a man's world. But yeah. Father, give us strength to preach and to share with bless the people of God. As the man of God hiding behind the cross that the people would not hear me but yet would hear you. I come against any spirit that wants to disrupt this preaching. Yes, yes. That wants to disrupt the man of God. Yes, Lord. And your word going forth. Hallelujah. We pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Together we say amen. Amen. And say amen again. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. This is a man's world. But. The late James Brown was prophetic Amen. in his own right. Uh, when he penned these words, when he sung his soul, mm. this is a man's world. Amen. But, Dr. Melvin, <laughs> it would be nothing well. without a woman Amen. Uh, or without a girl. Yeah. I heard Papa Fisher the late Dr. Fisher says, and I quote, if God made something better than a woman, yes. he must have kept it to himself. Right. And brothers and sisters, I agree with James Brown. Mm -hmm. I agree with Papa Fisher. Amen. Because it is true that behind every man, Amen. and behind every successful man, yeah. is a tired woman Yes, yes. Pushing him to his destiny. Yeah, yeah. Like, did you hear what I just said? Behind every successful man, there, there is a woman that is tired from pushing him to his destiny. Yeah, yeah. Because a man that does not have a woman pushing him to the top, Amen. he ain't got nothing but a girl pulling him down to the, to the lower level. Amen. Many of us, watch this, do not understand that man, watch this, uh, was not made for the woman. But the woman was made for the man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your argument is not with me today. Your, your argument is with the Holy Writ, is with the Bible, that woman was made yes. for the man. Uh, Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. The Bible says it was made, it was, she was made for the man. Yeah. Okay, y'all ain't feeling me. Yeah. You, you remember that Adam in the genesis of time, he was alone, he was isolated, he was by himself, he was without company, he was without, without compassion, and God, watch this, the creator of the cosmos, here's what he said, God said it's not good for you to be alone. Yeah. It's not good for you to be alone, and because it's not good for you to be alone, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create you some help. Yeah. Yeah, if, 
if, if, if you are a man and you have a woman uh, 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 that she is not a help, she's a hindrance. Amen. 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 If a woman is not a help, I don't care how good she looks. If a woman is not a help, I don't care how big her hips are. Uh, if a woman is not a help, I don't care about that pretty smile on her face. Yeah. She was created to be a help to a man. Uh, but y'all, listen, let me, let, me, let me mess around a little bit here. She, she was created not only to be the help to the man, she, she, was, she was created to be a help to a man that's serving God. Yeah. Amen. I need some help. Y'all talk to me here. A man that has been called and commissioned by God, he needs the help of the woman to complete the assignment that God has given him. Can I tell you? Not everybody is comparable or assigned to you. All right. Too often we try to force yes, yes, yes. that which does not fit. Come on, yes. up. And somebody say preach. Preach. We try to force that which does not fit. Amen. Amen. So I said just relax. Yes. Let it go. No, relax and just let it happen. That's why Paul said, watch this, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Yeah. Not only was Paul saying, don't look up with those uh, that don't believe in the God you believe in, uh, but he was saying, uh, Paul said, don't attach uh, yourself uh, to people uh, that don't believe in you. My, my, my. Because so often, brothers and sisters, uh, we attach ourselves uh, to people uh, that do not believe uh, in us. And if you uh, do not believe, is there anybody uh, that's bold enough to live Lift up your hand and say, if you don't believe in me, just keep it pushing. If you don't believe in the dream that God has given me, just keep it pushing. If you don't believe that the call of God upon my life, are you bold enough to just slip up your hand and say, keep it pushing? Everybody's not assigned to you. Amen. Everybody really even shouldn't be in your car. Uh, in your crib. All right. Amen. 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 And ladies, sometimes I just tell y'all, y'all let too many people just <laughs> come in. Yes, be in. Yes, sir. And set up residence yes, in your life. Yes. Amen. So y'all here in, in Proverbs 31, I promise y'all I'm almost done with this. Watch this. It is believed that Queen Sheba. All right. Is the teacher. Amen. And she's teaching.